Hello everyone. I am Divarani Pandrang Baba, working as an assistant professor in AINDS department at ASSMS IIT Pune. In the previous presentation, we have discussed about software process model and the first process model that is waterfall model. In this lecture, we will see what is spiral model. See the figure here. It shows the spiral model. The spiral model is similar to the incremental model. The spiral model has four phases. First phase is planning. Second one is risk analysis. Third one is engineering. And fourth one is the evaluation. These are the four phases of spiral model. So a software project repeatedly passes through these phases in iterations. And these iterations are called as spirals. So the baseline spiral starting in the planning phase, requirements are gathered and risk is assessed. So each and every subsequent spirals builds on the baseline spiral. So it is one of the software development model. So in the first phase, that is in the planning phase, requirements are gathered during the planning phase. Requirements like BRS, that is business requirement specifications and SRS, that is system requirement specifications are gathered. Second phase is risk analysis. In the risk analysis phase, a process is undertaken to identify risk and alternate solutions. A prototype is produced at the end of the risk analysis phase. If any risk is found during the risk analysis, then alternate solutions are suggested and implemented. Third phase is engineering phase. In this phase, software is developed along with testing at the end of the phase. Hence, in this phase, the development and testing is done. And fourth phase is evaluation phase. This phase allows the customer to evaluate the output of the project to date before the project continues to the next spiral. Now, there are some advantages of spiral model. First advantage is High amount of risk analysis, hence avoidance of risk is enhanced. Good for large and mission critical projects. Strong approval and documentation control. Additional functionality can be added at a later date. Software is produced early in the software's life cycle. These are the some advantages. Now, there are some disadvantages of spiral model. Can be costly model to use. Second one is risk analysis requires highly specific expertise. Third one is project success is highly dependent on the risk analysis. Now, when to use this spiral model? When cost and risk evaluation is important and for medium to high risk projects, spiral model is used. Requirements are complex. In this case, spiral model is used. 